I know firsthand how frustrating it can be when your storage on your iPhone is filling up or filled up. So I'm gonna show you a really quick trick to be able to free up some space on your iPhone. Let's jump in. So we're just gonna head over to settings. And if you go down into general and go to iPhone storage, it'll show you here how much storage that you have on your phone now. So I have 105 gigabytes of 128. So I'm doing okay, but I could still afford to free up some more space. And it also gives you across this graph what's taking up the most space. So for me, it's photos, next is applications, next is messages. So you can see what's taking up all the space on your phone. So a couple of options, they give you some recommendations here. Now for me, it's showing me that I have 14 gigabytes of attachments on text messages. Now I have a toddler, so we are constantly texting photos and videos back and forth between family members. And so if I went in there, I could delete some of those text messages or those attachments that are associated with those texts and free up 14 gigabytes. So that's always an option. Next, it has auto delete old conversations. So I have eight gigabyte of messages that are more than a year old. So if you don't wanna keep those, you could delete those. But the tip that I wanna show you here is really pretty handy. Now you could go into photos and you could delete some photos, which again, for me, is a lot of the storage. But down here, they have all of these apps. And if you look at these apps, they show you how much space is used up. So for example, I have the podcast app, which is 2.5 gigabyte. If I click on that, now what I can do is I could click offload app, which will remove the app from your phone and free up that space, but it'll still maintain ownership of all of that documents. There's two different sizes. There's the app size, which is 90 megabytes, or documents and data, which is 2.4 gigabytes. And so I can either delete the app, which will remove it completely from my phone, or I can just click on offload app and it'll delete the app size, but will maintain the data. So that's a good way to kind of go through. And then all I have to do is reinstall that app when I want to use it again. So you can kind of scroll through here and see the ones that you don't use a lot. So for me, I can go through here and go, oh, I can offload that app and remove some storage there. And sometimes just by going through this list, you may find apps that you go, wow, I don't use DoorDash as much as I used to. So 400 megabytes, I could offload that. And again, you can always reinstall those very easily, but this is a great way of going through there and kind of freeing up some space that way. And so just a couple options to go through that way to be able to delete data that you're not using anyway to be able to free up some space on your iPhone. I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you in the next one.